Time now for the morning rush. A years long legal battle over a Bernalillo County traffic stop has finally been settled. Wisconsin sisters Consuela and Cynthia Minifee, they were pulled over for more than an hour on I-40 back in 2017 by now former Bernalillo County Deputy Patrick Rial. The sisters sued, claiming racial and religious profiling. In December, the case was settled for more than $93,000. We're getting a look now at the newly unsealed court records related to Jeffrey Epstein. However, much of the information that's contained in them was already public. A deposition with the victim, Virginia Jeffrey, names some of the figures that she says were involved in the sex trafficking ring, including late New Mexico Governor Bill Richardson. Now, in 2019, Richardson said that he had never met Jeffrey. The city is shutting down Knockout's Strip Club downtown for 30 days beginning on Monday. Albuquerque Code Enforcement says that the business is violating a local ordinance for a sexually oriented business after a recent inspection found that Knockouts did not have identification records for all of its dancers. Knockouts has the option to file an appeal before the suspension goes into effect. Erica. And here's a look at our hourly forecast for your morning commute. We'll stay dry with maybe a chance for some light rain and mix as we go from 8 to 9 o'clock, then turning over to snow showers from around 10 o'clock on with cold temperatures in the 30s. APD has now terminated four officers after shooting two innocent bystanders when police opened fire on a suspect. Brenda Johnson, Eric Walensky, Violetta Baca, and Christian Cordova. They are the four former APD officers involved in the June shooting. There's no word if any of the officers are facing any criminal charges for that incident. Meanwhile, APD is reporting a decrease in use of force cases. The department counted nearly 470 cases where officers used force to arrest someone last year. That is down from nearly 900 back in 2020. APD is expected to give an update on the federal reform efforts in court later on today. We're also hearing from BCSO about their lockdown of the juvenile detention center on 2nd near Montano. That was for roughly five hours on Christmas Day. Sheriff John Allen says that more than a dozen males between the ages of 13 to 18, they took over a common area of the center and had strange demands for negotiators. Sheriff Allen says that they expect to charge those who started that disturbance. Erica. And here's a look at our threat index. It is higher today as we'll be seeing scattered snow all day long with slick road conditions and low visibility at times. Well, Albuquerque's Gateway Center on Gibson will soon have an overnight patient drop off. The city hopes that it will help with the overcrowding at jails and ERs by better screening people's needs. The city expects the 24 7 element of the new drop off service to be fully open in the coming months. Spaceport America is asking for your input on the direction of the project. The spaceport has al already held one public meeting and another is scheduled for next week to help the public learn more about the facility as well as sharing their thoughts. And that public meeting is going to be held next Wednesday from 6 to 8 in the evening. That's at the new space launch pad here in Albuquerque. We have details on our website at krqe.com. A new attraction uh, is now at the Biopark this week and it's part of their Under the Wave series. The long-nosed garfish is native to the Pecos River, and experts say that they may have been present in North America for more than now 100 million years. You can see the long-nosed gar's histories. That's when you visit the Rio Grande's past habitat at the biopark. Erica. All right, a check on traffic. The maps are looking clear. No accidents or slowdowns at this time. Arachnophobes look away because the Australian Reptile Park in New South Wales said that the largest male funnel web spider that they have ever seen has now been donated to by a member of the public. That spider, which you see right there, which has been named Hercules because of its unusual size, is 7.9 centimeters wide. The spider was donated to the Reptile Park's life-saving anti-venom program. Time now for the five facts. A new attraction is at the Biopark this week as part of their Under the Waves series. The long nosed gar is native to the Pecos River, and experts say they may have been present in North America for more than 100 million years. Biopark experts say long nosed gar can reach up to six feet long and can live between 15 and 20 years. You can see the long nosed gar's history when you visit the Rio Grande's past habitat in the Biopark. At number four, Albuquerque's Gateway Center on Gibson will soon have an overnight patient drop off. The city hopes that it will help with the overcrowding at jails and ERs by better screening people's needs. The city plans to start off slowly, only opening in the hours that they see the most need. That's from 7 in the morning until 5 in the evening. Well, the city also expects that the 24-7 element of the service will be fully open in the coming months. 
At number three, we have that winter storm hitting the state today. Winter weather advisories and winter storm warnings will be in effect until tonight for western New Mexico and until tomorrow morning for the northern mountains, central and southern mountains, and the northeast highlands. We'll be seeing that road, uh, the roads worsening throughout the day due to ongoing snowfall. And number two this morning, the city of Albuquerque is cracking down on a downtown business, forcing it to temporarily close its stores following a deadly shooting. The city is shutting down Knockouts Strip Club. That's for 30 days beginning on Monday. Albuquerque Code Enforcement says that the business is violating a local ordinance for a sexually oriented business. After a recent inspection found, Knockouts did not have ID records for all of its dancers. Now, if there is a second violation within the next year, the mayor has the ability to revoke the club's license to be a sexually oriented business here in the city. And at number one, a years-long battle over a Bernalillo County traffic stop has finally been settled. Wisconsin sisters Consuela and Cynthia Minifee, they were pulled over on I-40 near the Route 66 Casino in 2017 by now former Bernalillo County Deputy Patrick Rael. That stop lasted more than an hour, with Rael ordering the women and a child out of the vehicle while they searched the car. That was without giving reason, while another deputy, Leonard Armijo, stood watch. That search did not turn up anything. Well, the two Minifee sisters went on to file a lawsuit claiming that they were racially and religiously profiled by the deputies, saying that they were only pulled over because they are black and because Consuela was wearing a headdress. Now, in December, the County Board of Commissioners and the Sheriff's Department settled that case for more than $93,000.